All right, and here we are. All right, so let's get this loaded up while we wait for a couple of people here. Oh, wow, that loaded into the splash screen fast. Helena National Forest, Montana, U.S. Day 9. Alright, so let's immediately pause this once we get in. There we go. All right, so hopefully today we can finish off the uh, the game here. Apparently we only have two more nights uh, from what I've seen. And uh, let's see where we go. Hopefully we can finish this off. I'm really hoping for it. and start a different game on Saturday. Alright. I'm just going to have a quick drink here before I start going. And off we go. All right. Any talking today? Irving. Finally. There we go. I'm okay. I was dying on this chair. You're right. That room freaked me out. There we go. So, I looked around the entire hotel, and if there's still a chance of getting to the bottom of this story, then it's got to be behind the locked door on the last floor, in the attic. That wing has been condemned for years. Uh -huh. I know. I'll be careful. Okay. There are too many things that I took for granted. It's as if someone was putting pieces of my past in front of me. To show them to me under another light. Who are you talking about, Nate? Maybe no, it's my or... father. In my music box, I found the medal I won the night Rachel died. Dad could have put it there. And if he did, there must be a reason. It, it all sounds insane. Very insane. The night Rachel died. Maybe I have to start from there. I played in that really long hockey game. But what was going on in the meantime? You remember Stuff. that night, Irving? I think I was at church with my family. Church? That night we had a mass for the poor here. We held one every year. As usual, Mom volunteered to take mm -hmm. me to the game, but she was so busy with the soup kitchen that I was afraid she was going to be late. I remember while she ran around, she said she ordered me to close the mezzanine. You mean the intermediate floor above the reception? What's in there? The storeroom. Have you been up there? No, I'd forgotten all about it. Hmm. I'd better take a look before moving on. To the mezzanine. Why does it always tink when I go over that spot?
start them. Push. Oh, hello, mannequins. You startled me. And there's a hockey stick. Irving? Hello? Can you hear me? I'm on the mezzanine, and it's a nightmare. Okay, my the arms are all tingly. Everywhere. They're set up like in a scene. The, the, there's one with a hockey stick. Wait, what the fuck? That's my stick! If you're listening to me, whoever set up this representation, <sighs> I, I think they want to tell me that Rachel was killed? Yeah, it's holding it all, so that's Why pregnant. My hockey stick? Ooh, Hello? okay. Hello? Why isn't he answering? Irving, I swear, I'm not kidding. This is a huge deal. If you can hear me, it's time to make that phone call. Um, please? Make the phone call now, Irving? Are you in this hotel? Have you been here the whole time? Just get out of there. Where are you, Nicole? It's about time. Did you hear my messages? How many doors have you opened, Nicole? How many are still missing? What? Are you are you drunk? Keep going. I knew it. Hello, Irving. <sighs> okay, what's behind the second floor sealed doors? Okay. Did. Okay, so did I kill Rachel? And then just repress it? Irving's in this hotel, isn't he? He's got to be in this hotel. I think I went the wrong way. What the fuck was that? Um, so I am super freaked. There's pictures there hanging of my car and everything. Okay, I do not like this at all. I got shivers. My protector's gonna go and it's gonna make me poop. A key. Yes, a key. Let me pick it up, please. A bed. I have not seen another person in this entire game, and if another player model shows up, I may freak a bit. I don't want to check the equipment. 
I know that's going to progress the story. I want to check this typewriter and the cigarettes. Excuse me. I'm getting gassy because I'm scared and I had Pepsi. I mean nondescript brown pop. Irving, why did you not just be honest with me from the beginning? Just here. So that cough I heard was him. Hello? I imagine you found my room. What? Yes, I found your room. What does all this mean? That's a question I've asked myself many times. What does all this mean, Irving? How far do you want to push yourself? Ooh. How much can you take? All of it. What? Every memory. Painstakingly gathered every reconstructed piece, every little element retrieved from the dark. A photo, an earband, a lipstick. It means remembering, Rachel. That's what all this means. Really? I didn't choose this path. I had to do it. Um. What did you do? What did you do, Irving? These walls ooze with memories. The memories get into the walls. Under the floorboards, they creep into the crawl space. Yes, yes, doors of safety. Not with fear. Doors of safety are good. You, Jenkins, you, you never talked to him. Your boss, the phone call, all those weird events. You were behind all of them. Someone had to bring the last piece of the memory puzzle here. The most important one. You. Oh, he's a serial killer. I. I. Your father wanted to keep you out of it. I convinced him that only you could resolve the equation, as he called it. I. Don't understand. <sighs> How could you? Over the last few days, you got a little taste of what it means to dig around in the past. Hunting for memories that scratch away behind every wall in the night. I, we, did it for years. Day after day after day. Lies. I have nothing against lies. I grew up around lies. But now it's time for the truth to come out. Finally. Where, Where are, are you? you now? I want to tell you a story. There was an invisible boy. Like everyone, he just wanted to run on the grass, ride a bike, swim in the lake in summer. But his father... Oh, his father had other plans for his soul. Corner. In his dark world made of silence and prayer, there shone only one star. His wonderful sister. A heavenly creature that spent hours telling him fairy tales in secret. She who told him what a free and strong man he would become one day. Rachel? She oh, don't you judge me. Free and strong. At the time, I didn't understand her dyslexia. Or what retard meant. That's what they called her at school. But I could hear her cry at night. I wanted to protect her. But I couldn't. One day, that beautiful, luminous creature met someone. A human being that saw her. For real. Okay. My dad. Yes. And I was the invisible witness of what happened. A love. Simply a love. Nothing more. Nothing oh, this less. is so creepy. But that love 
It's too much. God. And it would be punished. Who paid for this love, Nicole? Rachel. Rachel was... your sister. Now I remember you. You were too caught up with your hatred for Rachel to notice the innocent little kid that sometimes tagged along. Yes, it's true. I hated her. But I was just a jealous kid. Doesn't matter. Those days are over. How could I have forgotten you? I was raised to be forgotten. Hmm. Where are, are you? you? Where are you right now? The day my sister paid with her life for her love, we all died. We make up the history of the Timberline. It was a tragedy. But you... We all got frozen there. In that very moment. In that... confined horizon of events. As you'll understand. As you've already begun to understand. The storytelling in this. Oh my god. Um, I done. want to know what you want from me. You have to keep going. To get to where I wasn't able to go. You will be the new witness. You owe it to us. And you owe it to her. Okay. So now that was probably the just double check in here. That was probably the projector turning on. Observe. Why is that grayed out? So you're going to try and burn this down with me in it? Why can I not observe that? have passed since I last used this old tape recorder. I think you were in elementary okay. school. Okay. I imagine a testament should start in a poised manner. My dear Nicole, my favorite daughter, etc., etc. Poised, weighty, serious, irrevocable. Yes, corner of safety. Asking Always you corner of safety. Are. How are you, Nikki? If your back's against two You're walls, no one can get at it. This point of your journey, the marks and or so I'm keeping an eye on the door here. The hotel will have already whispered all their secrets. You've always been good at solving puzzles. In this, you surely resemble more your mother than me. Irving has always been convinced that you, only you, could yeah. surmount the fear and suffering that exuded from these hallways. We tried. We waited. We were terrified. We 
we studied, we listened. We listened to her. But all the love in the world wasn't enough to decipher those muted vowels. Well, those in order to be open, use loud and necessary noises so you can hear them coming. Light. And, and while monsters scratch so you can know how to get away. The here and now, I will no longer be with you. But it doesn't matter, trust me, it doesn't. I have a new theory, Nikki. Love is and remains. It is in the wood you stand on, in the walls that keep up this hotel, Who are you in talking the air about? we breathe. Yeah. And sometimes it hates. It hates those who didn't allow it, those who cast it aside with indifference, and those who can't recognize it. Stars still emanate their light, even after collapsing, right? There is a lot of light here. There is light in death. I want to free myself of all this darkness. I can no longer see the stars. I'm tired of surviving in this limbo. So, how are you, Nikki? I'm good. I will be good. Okay. Figure out what Rachel was saying, Nikki. She's here. Oh, that's special. Murderer. Oh, there's the key. Claire. So, did I kill Nikki or did mom kill Nikki or. Wrong corner, wrong corner. No, nothing on that. Book. Alright. Uh, ranking Rachel Leonard uh, Leonardo Chequer Rachel Leonard. Okay. What does that go to? Um, inside Claire's car. Claire's car. Mom's car. Is that why mom left the car? Yeah, I picked up the key. Just to make sure. Okay, let's speed this up a bit. Whoa! Hello. Leonard was a very special man. His soul was big enough to love both you and Rachel. I knew my father's soul better than anyone. You were just a jealous kid. Don't you dare try to make me feel guilty. You don't... I just want you to get to the truth. So why didn't you tell me about the truth? Tell who? 
Nicole, who thought eating beans was the worst tragedy and couldn't wait to finish this business and run away, forgetting everything all over again? You don't know anything about what my mother and I went through. But you're different to when you got here. Now you can discover the truth, a truth that otherwise would have destroyed you. I didn't lie to you. I protected you. Listen, I'm sorry about Rachel. I uh. hated her. And I hated my father, but Thank I you. never wanted it to end like that. I understand your pain. Uh. Maybe better than anyone. Betrayal, shame, death. My family was destroyed, just like yours. How much longer does this pain have to last? It'll be over soon. What else is there to know? You want the truth. Well, I can't give it to you. I've already given you everything I could. Now you have to tie the pieces together. What does that oh. mean? Your father always said we are the sum of the people we take with us. And you abandoned these people. Here, in this place. Enough riddles, Irving. I'm tired. Me, too. You're the only one who can give a finale to this story. I knew you were sus. It's time you open the last door. That's not a door, it's a trunk. It's a skeleton. Pack rat. Okay, splash screen, next day, daytime. Okay, what's in this blanket? Uh, wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it. Okay, laundry room. Boiler room, no. Uh, hall reception, I think it's this way. No more jump scares, please. My heart's already at capacity here. Uh, nope, this way. I saw that. High water. The door closed on its own and then opened the other side. Alright, you're going to make me choose the one farthest? No? Nope, you're gonna make me use the sink. It's blood. Blood on your hands. Oh god. How could I have forgotten? I I saw everything. I was there. All the pieces the were in front of my eyes. The kid's eyes. It was the same night as the hockey game in the sewer. Reverend Foster was so busy with the preparations of the meals for the giving to the poor at the Timberline Church. And my mother, Claire, said that we would get back from the game in time for the distribution. She convinced my father to help the Reverend and he'd come with his whole family. You and Rachel. Yeah. I remember it like it was yesterday. I couldn't find my stick. I panicked and I went down to the garage. Claire was there, red in the face. Her look. Her look? It was just a fleeting feeling. 
That's why I erased it from my memory. I had to erase it, understand? What was in her look? It just wasn't her. It was like a, a frightful creature. A, a disturbed, dangerous animal. I've never seen her like that before or after. Not even on a deathbed. And then she put her hands on her hips, exhausted. She smiled. And there she was again, my mom. I thought it must have just been the impression of a moment. I had the finals against Cold Springs High awaiting me. I climbed in the car, throwing my bag into the back seat. My hockey stick was there. Claire said she'd cleaned it. She'd cleaned it. Go on. I... I don't... Go on! We... We got there on time and I played. Best game of my life. And the last. Claire was on the bleachers encouraging me and cheering. And then I lost sight of her. For two whole periods, I think. And later, when I asked, she said she'd moved because Marty O'Donagall's father was getting her a nurse. But it wasn't true. Just enough time to go back to the car. Mm -hmm. Don't say it. Irving, don't say it. Don't say a thing. I... I don't... I traveled all the way with Rachel's body and the baby she carried inside of her in the trunk rolled in the blanket. God, oh my God. She killed Rachel. Mom. Thank you, Nikki. Claire. You've had your revenge. I hope all this gives you the peace you were looking for. I wanted you to help me uncover the truth. You're saying you didn't know that Claire... I was only a kid. But she never wanted me to get to the bottom of it. Don't do anything crazy, Irving. Rachel is... is here? You know, I... I think she's still protecting me. But I'm grown up now. Now... we can all be reunited at last. What? Irving, don't Wait, do anything stupid, dude. Listen... We can work things out. What happened is terrible, but all the main players in this story are dead. Get it? Dead. We are still alive. We're alive. Me. You. We, we didn't do anything. That's exactly what we did wrong, Nicole. We didn't do anything. Irving, we were kids. It's beautiful here. Rachel told me about it so many times, but... <laughs> I never thought it was so beautiful. You're the only one left. Don't leave me here alone. I'm scared. It's wide as far as the eye can see. Beyond the mountains. You... You left the hotel? But... It's too cold. You'll... You'll die out there. Irving, please. I've lived in the dark for years. You freed me. Now I can finally rest in the light. I can and go back to her. Don't, don't go. You, you can't. Don't leave me too. We have our drink. It's not goodbye, my tough, pragmatic, stubborn Nikki. We'll meet again in another time beyond this. Horizon of events. 
everything is moving. Alright, well, back to my room. But I don't want to stay alone here. I. I. Everything seems to be becoming dark. I'm scared. I'm. Ah, who's there? Rachel? Is that you? What the hell was that? <sighs> okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, I must have gotten to the car. Yes, that's what a phone sounds like. Not the dial-up tone. The call is me, Jason. Is this who? Finally, I can get through. You don't know how many times I've tried. I can't hear you. The connection's bad. How are you? I was really worried about the storm. I'm good. Good. I'm glad. You sure you... Listen, I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. You've been really nice. Your job is done. I'd live in the Thanks. car too if that happened. I see. Well, you're the owner. So you've got every right to decide. But maybe we could talk about it in person. I'd want to understand. Is this kind of decision? I'm back home. And I have to stay here. Forever. You know, Mom, okay. I was thinking about going to the lake. Oh, no. Remember when we went with Uncle John last year? Daddy and I started talking about the stars. You can't see them during the day. But they're always there. You feel like it? I would so like it. And we could have dinner at Doc Smith's diner on the bank. They call him Ivan Cook, you know that? What do you think? Oh, Nikki's broken. Mom, Dad, it would be so nice. Oh, no. Wait, I did all the errands for you. No. You. I. No. No, that's what I thought it was. No. This is not okay. Um. Yeah. Turn off. Let's go. Stop it. It's not the answer, Nikki. I've been here with you, Daddy. Mom, we'll bring back the Timberland Jack when she comes back. We will be happy again, all together. No more hard feelings. No more anger. Just love. Oh, okay. Daniel Lazara, write a flippin' book, seriously, the atmosphere in this. Oh, 
Okay, so uh, apparently I was wrong. There was only one more night and that incident in the car. Wow. Um, Alright, well... I really don't know what to say. There's a whole lot that you can, but... Um, obviously, the one thing that comes to mind is if you're having thoughts of doing anything like that, call a suicide helpline. Call somebody close to you. Uh, script and dialogues. Uh, Massimo Filano. Filadoro and Jacopo Conti. Wow. Like, seriously, I've... Oh, sorry, I accidentally skipped it. Um, yeah. Um, congr congratulations to the team who made this. Fantastic story. Not even going to call it a game. I'm going to call it a story. Congratulations. That was fantastic. And I don't really go for spook. And it's got a lot of thriller. A lot of atmosphere. Oh, that's a nice touch. Was that just a coincidence? Yeah. No. Alright, so moving the mouse around the book causes it to do stuff. Alright, well, I'm going to leave this here because we have finished the game. And um, we'll be back Saturday with something new. Alright, thanks so much for joining me guys. Stay awesome.